In this lesson, I want to show you something very brief, that just how to navigate some documentation. So again, what you can do is look at the general wiki page for SDL2. And it can be hard to know what functions exist sometimes by just going to the search and sort of guessing what they are. So what you might do is instead go to the index. And what can be very useful is to just look at the categories for each of the APIs here. So sometimes I search for those if I know I might want to do something perhaps related to rendering, shared objects, mouse events, initialization, or whatever. But even more helpful is the API by category here, which again just kind of gives you a high-level description of what's going on. If you happen to stumble upon the old SDL2 wiki pages, they had this set up. And this page is just a copy of those as well. So you can kind of scroll through these and find different things or related functions that may be useful for you. Again, since it's a C-based API, that means there's going to be lots of sort of free functions and structures that you'll want to get acquainted with. Again, you can grep through the source code, which can be useful, but I found looking through these pages is useful for just knowing what's available.